All right, so we're into the game. Everybody's trying to make their way out. So let me make sure the sound is on, actually. So I uh, apologize for the game before I... <laughs> I forgot to turn the sound on. Hopefully that's... It's probably about a good... Yeah. Good volume right there. Um... I'm actually going to play with the setting a little more, sorry. Everybody's... Let's go in. No one's going... Seems like they're positioning very aggressively to start off. <clears throat> it looks like, um... Nobody's no honeys, they're just trying to defend. Sounds getting in. I'm sorry. Getting kind of distracted. Uh, it just seems like the sound is cutting oh, in and out. Oh, yeah. You have to set it higher. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like. It's not cutting out. No, it's not cutting out anymore. Like, low. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so everyone seems like they're. It's a pretty passive start. Leeson's gonna be starting off at his red buff. While uh, Vi gonna be getting some help at the blue. Probably just gonna be going for a full clear before they do any sort of ganking. Now, what I'm really interested in seeing is this Rise Kale matchup. Because. Well, Rez does have the range advantage early on. Kale does have a lot of early game harass with her Righteous Fury and uh, Q combo. Yeah, Reckoning. Reckoning. That's it. But, oh, wow. Rise getting the Ignite onto Kale early. He flashes and, oh, wow. Picks up first blood with an Ignite auto attack Q. It's well played by Rise there. Uh, 60 Stallion just got a little bit too. A little bit too uh, complacent there. Now, when you when things go Rise's way that early on, they tend to keep going his way. But, um, yeah. CS starting out fairly even. Draven pulling ahead in the bot lane actually by a significant margin. Yeah, 15 to 7. Because, you know, the CS is really important in the early game. That 7 CS. It's nearly double. Oh, looks like uh, Vi's trying to set up a gank on TF in the mid lane. Lee Sin's coming around too. He sees her. Goes in onto Vi. Vi just gives him a nice punch for his welcome there. He just jumps away. Uh, gold card, boom. Don't know how I feel about that flash. I don't think it was necessary, but oh wow, Sexy Stallion looks like she's going down again. Oh, just barely getting away. Yeah, oh, and Brandon for the win. Diving under tower. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, but it looks like Leeson attempting to come around. Doesn't actually realize. Oh, yep, and there's a DC. There is a DC. Huh. And he's back again. Okay. Yeah, un Fortunately, yeah, for this tournament, we are not allowing um, pauses, and it's the player's responsibility to make sure their connection is stable enough for this. So, yeah, it sucks, but uh, that's just the way it has to be to make it a fair environment. Eh, Karma trying to get a little bit of harass in, but a uh, bit of a whiff on the Q there. Vi trying to make something happen, but uh, doesn't deem it worth it. Just trading a blows in bot lane. Vi decides to come back in, but but uh, 
Draven Karma playing far enough back where they're safe. Vi almost gets the Q, but misses. Draven getting lots of spinning axe damage on him. Oh, but he flashes, and it looks like she'll live. Oh, wow, Caitlyn flashes too. Summoners, all all of Caitlyn's summoners burnt. Janus flash or exhaust rather is burnt. Lisa in coming in for the gank bot, coming in from that bush behind the tower. Doesn't look like they realize that he's there. Now yeah, let's see. Yeah, there's no ward, so they don't know that he's there. And once this minion wave hits the tower, yeah, Leeson comes out, throws the sonic wave, gets it onto Caitlyn, and wow, oh, she's gone. Javen gets that as adoration sacks, and he's going for more. He's trying to get the hit onto Janna, but she will just float on away. Yeah, get get patient on to uh, get patience on there. Lisa in there waiting for the minions to the tower before going in. Actually, wasn't sure if that Q was going to hit. I thought Janna was going to block it for her, but I guess uh, just kind of snuck it around her. And um, I guess I missed something in uh, top lane. Uh, getting a little bit of harass on there. Wow. Not sure what that was. Kale just kind of <laughs> straight up dying to rise there. So I guess the... I guess he's just trying... He's being a good guy trying to make it even for the DC kill he got. What a... What a... What a sportsman-like player there. Sexy Stallion. Yeah, let's have a look back at the bot lane here. Caitlyn, underneath this tower, can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Draven Karma lane all by herself. <laughs> Even with Janna there. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. I don't know, things... It seems like they're starting to settle down a bit, but... I don't know, uh, this bot lane tower will probably be going down soon on neither on these next few waves, but maybe. Huh. Just a bit more training. Oh, and the TF ult. Looks like he's coming in top lane. Got the gold card locked, but Kale gets the intervention off. She hits. Oh, and flashes away. TF picks up the kill. It was a nice gank by Tia there. Not really much he could have done about it, but I mean he was because he was so overextended. Draven just running a train on these guys down here. Just having a bit of trouble. Bye coming in trying to help them out. Kaylin's just gotta stand there and act like she's really dumb. Oh, but Vi comes in, gets the uh, assault and battery on the Draven. Oh, Caitlyn picks up the kill. Janna exhausts Karma, but she flashes away. And yep, she she sees uh, Morgana coming in, decides to hightail it out of there. <laughs> and wow, TF and uh, Rise pick up another kill on Tail. I suppose we can rewind and watch that, eh? Sorry. Yeah, let's uh, we'll have a. We'll have a look. Yep, TF and Rise trying to get sneaky over here. Throwing out the wards. Just gonna wait. <laughs> I like these brush tactics here. Yep, TF locks in the stun. Rise gets the rune prison and overload. Interesting card throw, but oh, Rise flashes and picks up the kill. <laughs> that was a interesting play. I like it. All right, we'll go back to uh, the start here. Maybe. Oh. Okay. So dragon fight. And yeah, we missed a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to see what happened. All right, so we are at this dragon fight here. Dragon gets picked up 
by the red team. And Draven comes in, gets the stand aside onto Caitlyn, and picks up the kill onto her. They chase after the Janna, but I don't think they will be able to get anything. Yep. Janna gets away with a sliver of health. Alright. Okay, so, back to live. TF gonna pick up this mid tower pretty easily. Ah, we're gonna definitely too low to contest. Caitlyn still managing to hold on to this tower, although I don't think she'll be having it very long. Draven's probably gonna pick it up on this wave. He's got a pretty large amount of creeps. Yep, he takes it down, no problem. Ooh. Get some pings from the purple team in that bush. Maybe they expect a gank, or maybe they want one. Alright. German's gonna come back. Looks like Vi's heading up to the top lane trying to get kill onto this rise here. He's actually, despite DCing, he's actually gotten himself back into pretty good shape with TF ganks and such. By coming in, but uh, yeah, Ryze isn't going to fall for that, he's just going to back off, wait for TF to come in. TF gets the stun card onto Kale and she goes down. Yep, Vi will just walk away. Morgana, looking for... She's looking, eh. She's probably just going to go and defend that tower. They, a 2v, they probably would not be able to win a 2v2 against this uh, Ryzen TF. Yeah, and the top tower goes down to the blue team. Kinda just hitting them. Just a little bit of love tap, uh, love taps there. Wow. The Karma Q is hitting pretty hard. It's the power of this uh, Frostfang here, I guess. I looking like she wanted to go in, but uh, Javen hits the stand aside. Caitlyn flashes out of the way of the ultimate. And they're just going to hit on this tower. It's pretty dangerous for them to go back in, but Vi hits, uh, gets a hit onto him. Vi assaults and battery on Lee Sin, and he goes down. Not enough to stop the push from Draven. Oh, but Draven, he's really caught out here. Vi hits him up, and Caitlyn picks up the kill. Morgana gets a soul shackle onto Karma, but walks away. And now, Karma tries to get the root of her own, but <laughs> Morgana walks away. Janna very low. Probably doesn't need to be sticking around here right now. I was just going to run off pick up that blue buff while TF and Karma sit here, keeping the pressure on this tower. Yeah, when Ryze gets blue, they're probably just going to try and pick up this tower on the next wave. Maybe. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea for them to stick around. Okay, but they're going back. Yeah, now that they've got a little more vision, and uh, Rise gets the Rune Prison overload onto Kale, does a good chunk of damage, but not quite enough to kill. Kale flashes away and just goes down. Wow! What bursts coming out from TF and Rise onto Kale? Barely getting out of that. And, wow. This Rise and TF combo is very strong. TF looking, oh yep, TF porting in into the base, flashes, but is not in range for the stun card. Oh, and gets it onto Morgana, and picks up the kill, wow! <laughs> Man, Lisa dies to the turret. Oh my. Wow, Ryze is getting a hefty amount of damage onto Janna and er, Kale there. But, um... Not enough to actually get the kill. K 
kill on pretty low. By going in onto Draven, but oh, she got a little bit more back than she expected to, running away from her teammates, trying to escape this Draven. Will she get away? This Draven is out for blood. He's yearning for it very much. I get it, because his name is much cheer. Sorry. Oh my gosh, and Vi walks right into the TF and down she goes to the wild card. <sighs> so, uh, right now we've got a 10k, 11k gold lead? No. Sorry, math is hard. 9k gold lead. For uh, blue team, they're about to pick up that dragon, just extend it even further. Yeah, right now they just wanna they just wanna keep shoving with this uh, instant wave clear that they have in TF, like because uh, right now. Uh, Money Shot can't really engage onto them. They just don't have the damage or sustain. Wow, and Caitlyn just getting blown up. Yeah, they just don't have the damage to fight them or the tank units to withstand it. So it's a, they're in a very difficult situation against them. And TF trying to come in with the stun cards takes down Morgana no problem. Draven just kind of running a train on everybody. Throwing axes, having a good time. Run it into the Nexus Towers because why not? Pick up the first inhibitor of the game. 17 minutes, 16 seconds. Now they're just deciding to fight right in front of the fountain because why not? TF gets the blue card because that's the best one. And <laughs> Draven just kind of chill and relax and wait for somebody to come fight. And down he goes. Get a bit too cocky there. And there goes TF as well. Is this a rally for money shot? And down goes Karma. Will we get and wow another disconnect. That's really unfortunate, but Yeah, that's just unfortunate. Hope we can get back into this soon. Although if he doesn't for a while, it'll give uh, Money Shot a chance to catch up even more. Then we can see a more even game. Oh, but he's back. He's back and ready to throw those axes once again. Can't keep Draven out of the limelight. I mean, just look how glorious he is. He is ready for battle. Four man. Or not four man. However many people are in mid. Three man. <laughs> Three man push out of the mid tower. They pick it up. Any little bit of gold helps right now for money shot. Morgana. Gonna try and get this blue buff. Hopefully it'll... Well, you know, give her a break. Those shots are kind of hard to hit. Caitlyn decides. No, Morgana. That is my blue buff. I need it for more traps. Lisa then gets the Q onto Morgana, but she's just gonna walk away. It's not gonna decide to go crazy and kill her. TF picks, hit the sun card onto Kale. She immediately interventions, but wow. Rise just coming in with the damage, room prison, and then stun card from TF picking up the kill. Yeah, top turret's going down. This is just a nice, slow, methodical push from uh, from Honey's here. Yep, and inhibitor turret going down. Lee Sin tanking that inhibitor turret because he can. Looks like he's just going to start going onto the Nexus turrets, just trying to end this game. Got to try hard. TF goes down. Rise flashes away, gets the overload, gets the room prison. 
keeps spamming those spells. He's going down. Yeah, there's just a lot, a lot of pain going on. Not really much money shot can do against this right now. They're too far behind to really fight back. But that won't stop them from trying. Yeah, but it looks like this is going to be a victory for honeys. Victory goes to Honey's. 20 minutes, 35 seconds. <laughs> well. Yeah, I just... For that game, honestly, I just think that the skill gap between the team was a little bit more than it could be handled. The NCSU. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I'm dyslexic, sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Alright, cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, when, when, seven, next game, and seven. Okay. Okay, so I'll just say like semis at seven. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, they can hear me. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the semifinals will try and get them started around seven o'clock. It's uh tentative, but um, yeah, they they will. Both be streamed. Both uh, semifinal games will be streamed. One on this stream and one on the other stream. So I'll get you a link in just a second. I'll pop that into the chat. And I guess I'll put it into the. Uh, put it into. The... Yeah, I'll pop that into the chat. And I'll put it in the uh, title as well. But uh, yeah, we don't know who will be in the semis yet. It's those, uh, the game's still being played. But um, yeah, thank you for watching, and we will be back soon.
to shake your with new sh from Skrillex, Clean Bandit, Lily Allen, David Guetta, and more? Hit the dance floor with the Ultimate Party playlist now and shake that If you gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot in the dark, but I'll make it. No, it you can't shame me when I am with you. There's no place I'd rather be.
Okay, so welcome back everybody. We are here with the semi-finals. Community Koji versus the Mighty Ducks. And it's coming out, Evelyn Lee Sin for Community Koji. And for Nekton Yasuo. So far for Mighty Ducks. Jack's coming out from Koji as well. These are all fairly standard bands. These are all champions that are just really strong and just kind of want to get them out of the way. What are the third bands going to be? Syndra. That's definitely a targeted band. I believe I saw someone playing it earlier. Instant Shivana. That was a... Let's see. I know I saw one of them playing Syndra earlier. Ziggs picked up for uh Ziggs picks up for Mighty Ducks, as well as Leona. Uh yeah. The Jewish guy. Yeah, he plays as Syndra. But yeah. Um yeah, trying to get those zigs is he's definitely a good pick. Not many other mid laners can really stand up against zigs wave clear. Uh, Koji taking away, yeah, taking the taking the Lulu. Yeah, that's probably the best bet against against zigs, just with the shield and the wild growth and the polymorph. And yeah, they grab the Sivir. Yeah, they take the Sivir instead of Lucian. They're going to pick up the Lucian, uh, for sure. The Lucian Leona lane is just such a powerful combo. It's really hard to pass up. And baiting with the Amuma pick. We know, we know it's not going to be Amuma. Unless it is. But it probably won't be. Gonna keep us waiting down to the last second. John Den, yep, switches to Jarvan. Last second. We saw this earlier. Uh, Mighty Ducks with the Jarvan, Jarvan, Leona, and Lucian. Those crazy, powerful gank spot lane. So we might be able, we might see those again, but it's gonna be a lot harder to uh, gank a Sibir with that spell shield. Oh, Fizz. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna man up? Bring out the fish. Zack. I haven't seen Zack in a while. Anami. Interesting. I don't know. I haven't really been too impressed from what I've seen of Nabi in this tournament. She just doesn't seem quite up to par with those other supports that offer a lot of CC, like Thresh or Leona. She just seems kind of lackluster. I don't know, maybe maybe this will be the game where Nami can finally shine, but I don't know. I don't see, I don't see it happening. Uh, looking like Rise is going to be the final pickup for Mighty Ducks. Rise in the top lane. Definitely going to be... That's actually... I feel like that's going to be a rough matchup for Zack until he can get that Spirit Visage up. Oh, no, it's not Zack. It's the uh, Shivana in the top lane. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, Shivana's got to try and uh, put a lot of pressure on Rise early. Otherwise, he's just going to start to get out of control. I'm glad to see the Zack jungle though. That's going to be fun to watch. There's an elastic slingshot can just come from so far away. Then the stun is a... I don't know. It's a hard skill shot to hit, but when you perfect it, it's just like... It's just a brilliant 
<laughs> it's just it's just brilliance. It's pure brilliance. J Dizzle. Hey, stop ghosting the stream, J Dizzle. But yeah. Um all right, so for uh community Koji, we have original gangster on the jungle zack. We have Kazi t in the top lane playing Shivana. We have Pure playing Sivir as in the bot lane AD carry. We have Cloister on Nami as support, and we have the Jewish guy playing Lulu in the mid lane. And for Mighty Ducks, we have Swift Wolf X playing Lucian AD carry. We have Octothorpe playing Ziggs in the mid lane. We have John Din on Jarvan Jungle. We have Leona as support played by Casuals. And we have uh, in the top lane, Polaris295 playing Rise. You know, this was a, a Mighty Ducks comp it's almost I want to say it's almost identical to the one that we saw them play earlier where they just dominated uh, oh gosh please forgive me, I forgot the name of the team, but <laughs> it was a, uh, a 19 minute victory and a lot of it came from the fact that uh, the Lucian and Leona lane got ganks from Jarvan, and they were extremely effective, and they got really fed early on. So I would not be surprised to see if they go for a uh, similar bot lane focus in this game. As for uh, Community Kolji, I, um, I'm not really sure what to expect of them as I haven't been I didn't get a chance to really look in on any, any of their games but um I am I uh, I do have a bit of faith in the Zach Vic because I feel like to pick Zach you kind of I don't know when you when you pick Zach like most people pick Zach are actually kind of good at him but I don't know maybe let's take a look and just see <laughs> is he even in his ancestry total two games so yeah <laughs> all right we'll see how it goes i don't know maybe you can pull out some sick plays but uh it should be pretty interesting so um yeah i'll be back in just a moment Let's see, it looks like uh Kolji. College college Community College. Oh man. I'm gonna keep calling it Kolji just because I like that better. I'm the only one with the voice on here, so no one can tell me no. <laughs> Kolji definitely has the skin advantage with that pack server. For sure. So I'm putting my money on this game. No bias. Ooh, there's some chat going on. How do we look at that? Let's look at that. Let's look at the... Uh... 
Yo, ref here. We didn't even trade. Ooh, this is good. It's good gossip right here, but it looks like... Ooh, it looks like some client bugs. What's gonna happen? Alright, so it looks like we've got... Oh. Sorry about the sound bugs. Uh, yeah. Getting some damage on Anami there. Leona flashes for the stun and Jarvan picks up the first blood. Wow. Yeah, she she's kind of wandering around there. Didn't really pay much attention. Um, sorry about this, let me... Yeah, they're just gonna... Mighty Ducks just gonna be camping this red, making sure that they can steal it away. No, but... No, the... Yeah, Shivana is definitely... She's gonna go up there and maybe try to get that red. Uh, get the Mighty Ducks red. So they can both have a two-buff start. She's just gonna be... Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zax the jungle, excuse me. Um, but yeah, just a bit of damage trading here. It looks like, yeah, they're both kind of playing chicken here, and it looks like Mighty Ducks is just gonna, they're just gonna go right for it. Bit of a fight here, they're gonna, one of them's gonna have to commit soon, and Zach goes in. Looks like Lucian picks up the red. Nami gets the double bubble. And Jondon is very low, goes down to Sivir. <laughs> Lucian flashes away with that red buff. And it looks like uh, Zack is going to head on in trying to take away the blue. Might not be the smartest decision considering Lucian has red. And Zack takes a lot of damage from the bombs. And Leona goes into his passive form. Just gonna reassimilate there, getting some damage onto them. This is a very extended level one fight. So it throws out the boomerang blade, gets a lot of damage onto Ziggs, but the heal keeps her alive, even though Ziggs is hitting on him. And yeah, we want to chase him down, Lulu, trying to go around and cut her off. Lucian gets the hit with his auto attack, slowing her with the red buff. Leona, oh, flash from Lulu, she gets away. That was a very extended level 1 fight. Just a bit of damage trading going on up top lane. This guy's just living on the island where their team is having deathmatch down bottom. Yeah, Jarvan does manage to get his blue, and so does Zack. Downside for this is Zack misses out on his red because he Lucian was able to steal it from him. So he's going to be a little bit behind in terms of jungle experience. But, um... Well, actually considerably behind, but... The kills... Uh... Well, the kill... Hopefully will make up a little bit for it, but... He's still definitely going to be behind Jarvan. And not really as effective in his gank without that red buff early on. Now let's see, Ryze teleporting back to the minion. He is ready to go. And looks like he ha already has his tier. So that's going to start stacking up and be ready. Probably be ready to go into a Seraph's Embrace eventually. Yep, Zach just making sure his red's clear, heading on over to the double golems because his main buff was already taken. And back in bout lane, uh, Lucian's got about an 8 CS lead. It's kind of to expect that he had a red buff for the earlier part of the lane and don't really want to try and fight against that early on could end very badly for you. Up in the top lane, Ryze getting a lot of damage onto Shivana, but... Ooh, the flash from both of them. Shivana managed to get it out before Ryze 
get that final overload auto attack. And in the mid lane, yeah, in the mid lane, CS lead goes to Mighty Ducks again. Ziggs with the 7 CS lead against Lulu. Yeah, Mighty Ducks just winning the CS war early on all around, save for on Jarvan. But Jarvan has two kills, so that kind of makes up for it. And Leona whiffs the Zenith Blade there. And Sivir's just coming back with the uh, ricocheted ricochets on Leona. Nami whiffs the bubble, but they just decide to back off. And looks like in the mid lane we got Zach trying to come in for a little bit of a gank on two zigs. But he's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna wobble on out of there. Be fine. I'm on the top lane. Looks like she's getting a little bit of a better rise now. She got that Megatron cloak. Jarvan's just gonna come in and try to push that lane in. Now the Sivir, Sivir and Nami is starting to work out pretty well it seems in terms of her ass. I mean, that's probably the only way you can, like, really beat this lane is just try to out Pokemon. Leona gets the Zenith Blade onto Sivir, but she ends up having to flash away. Yeah, everyone's just gonna go back save. And Raz trying to get a bit of damage onto Shivana, but it's not gonna really do too much. That Negatron cloak is helping her out a bit. As long as she doesn't go too far deep, get too cocky, she'll be able to stand up against him. Uh, looks like uh, Cloyster DC. That's unfortunate. And yeah, I wasn't really clear about the whole pause rule thing earlier. The main reason why we have this pause rule is because of uh abuses we had of the pauses in the past like teams pausing like right 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 before big baron fights or dragon fights and oh, leona goes in on to sivir gets the zenith blade but it's not gonna be quite enough but yeah we just had abuses of the pause function in the past so the decision was made to just not have it available for this And yeah, Sivir's definitely going to be having a rough time here without Nami. Hopefully she can get everything sorted out soon. And John Den, we're going to wander into the jungle, see if he can't find a nice snack. Oh, maybe just looking for the ward. Maybe he doesn't want to get too greedy. And Leona gets the ward behind the tower. The bot lane. Now, Shivana looking in to come in and maybe, maybe try and get that red, maybe stop Jarvan. But she knows she's been caught, and so she's just going to try to just make a presence known and then get out of there. No one's noticed that pink word yet either. And down in the bot lane, Sivir just cannot... Cannot deal with these two by herself. 
That's a real shame. And Lulu pushing on in mid. She looks like she might head down bot to try and alleviate this situation, maybe. Oh no, just ward. Would be nice, but... Yeah, it's kind of hard to be able to roam against the Ziggs. Zach just just trying to get them off this turret. Got to keep it up as long as possible. Rise teleports in on the ward that they place back there. He's going in. Going to get the rune prison onto Zach. He splits. And he just runs off. He knocks that one. And Sivir getting a lot of damage. A lot of damage down, but just not quite enough to actually get the kill, unfortunately. For her. In the mid lane. Just a bit of damage trading. Throwing stuff. None of it really hitting, but it's okay. And Sivir and Zach. Zach is the new support, so <laughs> he's just oh wow. I'm surprised that boomerang blade didn't connect. That would have been a really lucky hit if it did. And yeah, Sivir just trying to gain back some of that lost ground. Well, Shivana is getting a fair amount of damage on this tower in Rise's absence. Jarvan's gonna come in and just kind of deter her from sticking around too close to that tower anymore. A has and good. Looks like Nami is back, so that'll kind of make it... That'll make the bylane situation a little bit better for Sivir. So gold, gold fairly even. Only a... 500 gold difference, roughly, between the two teams. And it looks like... I guess I could organize this a little bit, couldn't I? Yeah. And then... But yeah, it looks like... Yeah, it's fairly even overall. But yeah, then we have John Din down here. Scouting out Dragon for wards. Trying to take advantage of the fact that they've really had map control in the bot lane for quite a while due to the absence of Cloyster. Cloyster comes in, tries to get a hit on to Swift Wolf, but not really going to deter them off this dragon. Zach comes in, gets the bounce, belly flop, taking down Jarvan. Unfortunately, he does not get the dragon, but he does get the kill. Yeah, and Nami has to flash out of there just to be sure she didn't get locked up by Leona and blown up by Zig's bombs. Looks like Zack's still ready to go. Gets the, uh, gets the slingshot on to Lucian. Down he goes. Leona hits the Zenith Blade on there, but... Yeah, Nami's wave, not enough to uh, knock up that Leona and maybe get another kill. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Shivana able to knock down that turret, as uh, Ryze just isn't able to stand up to her pushing. Because of all the uh, times he's had to leave lane. Or cho he didn't have to, he chose to leave lane. And Lulu, still just trying to push hard. I mean, that's what you gotta do if Ziggs isn't there. You just wanna try and push as hard as you can. Because you know he's just gonna push it right back to you. And Chavana's just really getting her farm on this game. Hopefully it'll be enough to deal with this rise, though. And Shivana going into on the rise, the wet noodle fight commences. Hmm, Leona goes for the solar flare on his Sivir, and then connects with the Zenith Blade, but it's not quite enough to really get anything, and, but it is enough to kill Cloyster.
So it looks like Zach going in a rise in the top lane, and he's Shabana and Zach are able to pick up the kill. This brings the gold to about a 1.1k difference. Well, not 1.1. It's about 2 now. Do that turret. But yeah, that turret was pretty low from Nami DCing. So, I mean, it was only a matter of time before it went down. And Jarvan and uh, Zeus trying to go in on Lulu, but she's just too quick with that whimsy. I'd just like to point out here, this pink ward, it's been there for a long time. That's the kind of thing we like to see. It's like a mini game inside of League of Legends. I'm trying to see how long you can make your pink wards last. Just put them in some... That's actually, it's not a very obscure spot, but wards do tend to last a while there. But if you really want to be cool and make your pink ward last the whole game, you got to put it in somewhere, somewhere really out of the way. That's a decent spot to put it out of the way. This is also a really good one to put your pink ward way out of the way so it lasts the whole game. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the way I like to play League of Legends. But uh, Leona going for the Zenith Blade on the Lulu, not gonna connect. She's just gonna. Whimsically dash away. Zach trying to slap up old Jarvan there, but he ain't having any of that. Jarvan getting the dunk onto Lulu, but she's going to respond with the wild growth. Nami's tidal wave knocking everybody up, and Zach trying to slow down this advance. Jarvan flashes and gets the kill onto Cloyster. And meanwhile, Chivana is just being a crazy dragon killed. Rise. Oh, Zach going back in with the elastic slingshot. Sivir coming in just trying to do a bit of damage, but she's taking too much in return because of that exhaust. Zack actually managed to pick up the kill on Leona, and he splits into his passive. And it looks like he's going to go down here, as just, Leona can't really defend her. Or Sivir can't. Meanwhile, Lucian is putting pushing bottom, but uh, Lulu is coming in to make sure he doesn't get too much damage onto this tower. So he's just gonna run off into the jungle, beat up in those, beat up on those double golems, take out his frustrations. Shivana gets another turret up top. She's starting to get pretty, pretty dangerous. A bit too much for Rise to handle, I guess. Well, the gold lead still is slightly in a uh, Mighty Ducks' favor. Gulji. Gulji is uh, looking looking pretty strong right now. Things are looking fairly even. All in all. Now he gets slow on to Jarvan, but he's just going to flag and drag away. Ziggs throws a bomb. Doesn't hit anybody. We want to get the Zenith Blade onto Cloyster. Ziggs hits with a bomb, but not quite enough for them to really want to commit. Sivir is a bit split there. Perfect target for Leona, but she whiffs the Zenith Blade. Jarvan decides to go for it. He dunks her, and down she goes. They're trying to go back in, and Naomi goes down to Zet. Shivana just being a giant dragon with that wild growth on her. She's running around smacking people. Setting him on fire, and she is doing a ton of damage, and it's just so tanky right now. Just a spirit fist, a giant spell, and a vampiric scepter is just wrecking them. Wow, oh, Leona, that did not seem okay. Maybe now it might be good, actually. Okay, don't, Leona. It's okay, Leona. You don't have to try anymore. It's okay. Oh, she's gonna fight it. <laughs> oh, Leona. 
Okay, yeah, she kind of deserved that. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's like Koji looking to maybe pick up a dragon, but John Dan and Swift will see that coming, so they start to go in. They get that pink ward. Rise beating on the Lulu here, throwing electricity and stuff. <laughs> Almost gets her, but the wild growth keeps her alive. Wow, that's a ton of damage on that Rise. Where did that come from? Wow. Yeah, Lulu hurts, I guess, along with Zack. Yeah, now's the time they could probably force the dragon with Rise down. Um, Lulu? Yeah, Lulu can afford to just push mid while all this is going on. Shivana's just such a strong deterrent to this. Yeah, Zach's just gonna go in. I don't think they're gonna be able to catch anybody, though. Yeah, they're gonna come back in. Zach is split off. He might go down here. This is really dangerous for him. But he's able to get out of there with the elastic slingshot. Well, that might have stalled enough time for Rise to get back up. So now it's a fair fight, and I don't know if they, if Bulgy wants to do this at half health. It looks like Shivana's going in. John Dan will pick up the dragon. Rise comes in from behind, just melts Ari, and now is going in onto Lulu. Uses the wild growth. Shivana goes down too, trying to 3v1, but it's not really working out. Lulu managed to get away just by the skin of her teeth. I uh, am. Yeah. I feel like Koji just stuck around a little too long there. And then once Rise came back with full health, it just was not an even fight anymore. Ooh. Yeah. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. All right. Well, everybody seems a bit tired out from that extended fight there. Just gonna do it a little farming. Trying to get back up for the next clash. Lucian picks up the red. And Shivana just... So she's trying to put a little bit more pressure up in this top lane, as well as uh, uh, Saber's going to going down in the bottom lane. Looks like they might be trying for a one three one split push, which would make kind of sense. They do have the comp for it, sort of. Just with the uh, split pushing power, of both Saber and Shivana. But uh, Shivana trying to fight, bite off a little bit more than she might be able to chew. Yeah, the. Jar Flag and Drag knocks up Jarvan, but the Leona comes or er, Leona comes in with her old Nami hold. Lulu's able to get the shutdown onto Ziggs, but Jarvan comes in on to her, and she's trapped inside there. But oh wow, Zach! It's just Zach and Lulu and Shivana now. They're doing a lot of damage. Shivana comes in on to on to Rise and Lucian. Still got the Leona around though. Shivana can't take much more. She's oh wow. She finally goes down. Rise flashes the Zack slingshot. Is Zack still able to pick up the kill? Yeah, they just got a little, little bit outplayed there, but there's definitely some strength coming from Cold Colgy's team clock. Colgy. It's just fun to say Colgy. Yeah, there's. It's just it feels like with Koji's team cop, it's just like, it's like they're so close to winning these team fights, but it's 
just not quite enough. At least yet. Like, I feel like once, if, if the rest, if like, Sivir, if Sivir could catch up to the power, the ch power level that Shivana's at right now, things might be a little bit different. Like, maybe once she finishes her last Whisper, things will be a little bit, uh, a little bit more decisive. Although, yeah, like, when we look at Lucian's items compared to Sivir's, He's up a, like, he's up a full item on her. Like, a, and not just like a 20, he's up like a huge item on her. But yeah, Leona going in on to Cloyster here, but not much is going to come of it. Just chunking Cloyster way down. No kill for them, though. Yeah, I've really been impressed with the Swiftwolf's uh, Lucian's play in the games that I've seen him, which are only two, but he has played well in both of them. Definitely, honestly, I feel like Lucian might have been a worthy ban against him, but honestly, all these players are very good on their respective champs. And Leona gets the Zenith Blade onto Shivana, it's not quite the right target. Great Cataclysm from Jarvan getting Sivir down almost instantly. And yeah, that's right. They're just going to turn right onto the Baron because they know they can't really contest now. Yeah, and they recognize that Shivana is just going straight for the mid tower while they go for this Baron. And you have to wonder how much she'll be they'll actually be able to take for for Mighty Ducks just run around and come after them. Zach goes into the Baron, but she's actually knocked up by Ziggs, who's not able to get it. Yeah, now Mighty Ducks just running, charging after the Shivana Lulu. They're mad. They are. They are out for blood. They do not appreciate them just trying to take those towers while they're doing the Baron. Kolji prefers the honorable fight right in front of the Baron pit, not the secret backdoor strategies. Rai's still chasing after Lulu. He is really out for out for blood there. <laughs> Not quite gonna catch him though. Yeah. Yeah, Mighty Ducks pick up the uh, turret there. Not really much Super could have done about that. It's too scary. Uh, they managed to steal away the red there. At least, at least you can have those lizards, Zach. Yeah, Mighty Nook's just extending their gold lead even more. It's just gonna be a nice... It's just gonna be like a slow ascent. But, oh wow, Rai's a little bit too far out. Looks like he's gonna pay for that overextension. And hopefully they can get it for free, but... Oh, yep. Yep. They were able to pick it up for free. Those are the kind of things that uh, Koji needs to be able to get back into this game. Make things a little more even. Just need to keep their words up and uh, keep looking for picks like that. wonder what that ping was for. Who knows? Not that much really going on. Lulu off getting handed off to Lulu there. Leona just wandering around. Trying to find somebody to smack with her sword. She's going to settle for that cannon creep. Oh, what a solid, a solid hit there. What great form. She want to go in and under Rise. Trying to push. Rise didn't like it. He wants to throw some balls at her. Some balls of electricity. I'm going to hand off that red illusion there. Give him a bit more slow. 
Leona's sneaking around here. Maybe they're thinking about a dive on Shivana. Yeah, looks like it. Leona gonna get the uh, stun on, but not gonna be that much slower down. <laughs> oh, Shivana just laughing. Fairly confident in the fact that she cannot be killed right now. Though she is getting pretty low. Just gonna push that lane in. Oh, Rise teleports to the uh, mid lane. It looks like. Wow, Sivir just evaporated. Purple team double kill. Do it. Yeah, I mean. I guess Cold, you can tell that they're behind and they just want to. Uh... Oh, wow. Uh... Yeah, Lucian picks up the kill onto Lulu. And Shivana trying to get it back, get revenge, but Luzushin is just really, really strong right now. He's, yeah, he's even like surpassed Shivana, who was being a real threat to him just a few minutes ago. And that last whisper really makes a difference. Not gonna try and stop this siege on the turret, but there's not much he can really do. He doesn't do all that much damage. Jarvan gonna come in. Maybe he gets away. Oh wow, Lucian quite low, but the heal comes out, keeps him back up into a reasonable amount of health. Jarvan goes in on to Sivir, gets the smacks in. Leona hits with the solar flare. Zach launches himself in there. Nami's tidal wave come in and only hits Leona. Everyone else flashed away. So, disengage. And can be pretty fine there. So yeah, Baron will be up in about a minute and a half. Oh, excuse me. Um. Yeah, Baron will be up in about a minute and a half, so everyone just trying to get a little bit of ward coverage up so they can actually make sure they uh, get a fair fight for it this time. Just going to clean out the mid wave. Yeah, I believe the next fight we'll see will probably be at Baron. I mean, that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, everybody, Kolji calling for the uh, team to group up mid. Let me try and get. Let me try and just go for a push with the uh, Sivir. Uh, ooh, Rise picked up the GA. This is going to be a real pain to deal with now. Let's get some room prison on to Shivana. But that's not going to hurt her too bad. I think she's just going to run away. I'm going to clear out that ward from the bush. Sort of try and take over control of their jungle. Deny them as much vision as they can and push in. And now it seems like they're going to back off trying to make somewhat of a move towards Baron. Because it will be up in about, yeah, it's just <laughs> right now. Yeah, almost perfect timing. They're just gonna pick that. I don't even think they'll be able to get there in time to contest. Nami wave comes in. Maybe Zach can get in there. Oh, nope. Not quite enough. Shivana ults after Lucian, getting him out of the fight. Will it be enough? Lucian just takes him straight down. Rise is fighting 4v1 right now. He's. Oh, wow. Takes down Nami. Takes down Zack. He pops into the passive. Lucian and Jarvan just gonna clean up that pile of goo. He takes a hit from the boomer bling bling, but it doesn't really hurt now that he's got that frozen heart. Throws the Q and the E onto him. Lulu goes down, but Rise will not due to that guardian angel. Just gonna keep on chasing. Maybe he'll pick up the dragon. Who knows?
Yeah, looks like uh, Mighty Ducks are just shoving on in, trying to get that inhib. And pick it up. First inhib goes down. 35 minutes, 42 seconds. And wow, they're just going to go straight right in onto the Nexus turrets. But uh, Sivir and Nami are up to say, hey, be careful. We're going to kill you. We don't like you to do that. Hurts our feelings. So they back off out of consideration. Is Leona going to pick up that dragon? Because, you know, you always can use a little more gold, even when you're 15k ahead. So we're just trying to shove this lane back so they can actually afford to leave their base without it being overrun by super minions. The minions are strong, more powerful than any champion in this game. You have to make sure to give them the respect that they're due. Blue, just gonna pick up that blue. Yeah, you can really tell the difference in terms of gold and experience between these two teams now. I mean, just looking at the, uh, <laughs> well, looking at the difference in levels and gold. But, um, yeah, it's just really starting to, the gap between them is just really, it's a really wide gap now. <laughs> Much wider than it was earlier. The fights aren't nearly as close as they used to be. Uh, Leona gets the Zenith Blade onto Zack, but... Wow, he actually pops the ult for that. I don't know if that was necessary. But, uh, yeah, Shivana gets a little bit of a chunk on there from Lucian. And, wow, half health Shivana. Oh, my. Sivir just gets torn to shreds. Or cold, rather. <laughs> Get it, the calling. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, run away, Cloyster. Run. Don't let them hurt you. But yeah, uh, while this four-man push is going on the bottom, Rise just slowly getting that creep wave on in. Shivana's waiting there to deal with him, but she's not really strong enough to fight him anymore. He's gotten that point where he's just well past her in terms of damage and tankiness. She can't really handle him alone. So Nami comes up to help out, but that's going to mean they're going to push in onto this tower. Zach goes in with the slingshot, just going to flop around, slap him around a little bit. Not going to do too much. Get the dunk onto this, to, onto Lulu. She's going to go down, but uh, Leona will go down as well. Shivana gets knocked down by Lucian. Rai's just going to chase him all the way back to the fountain. Wow, wow, that was a lot of damage from Ryze on the Sivir there. And, uh, yep, Mighty Ducks take this game. 38 minutes, 46 seconds. It was well played. Alright, so... Um, what will happen is there will be a third place match played, and then I believe it's the third place match will be played first, and then we'll have the finals, which will be a best of three. I don't think that, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about, um, the... I, I I believe the third place match will just be a best of one, like all the other matches have been. Don't quote me on that. I will check for sure. But um, yeah, the finals will be a best of three, and I will update with a time soon. But uh, for the time being, uh, just hang out, guys. I will update you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned.
performer, man. It's about stepping your game up, you heard? Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Look, both hands in the air. I'ma live it up like I don't care. Yeah. We be popping bottles and you sipping warm beers. So if you're front line and riding, I'm riding from the rear, rear, rear. You know I'm rolling, rolling. Quick to move, just hold it. I'm controlling, taking over these grounds and again unloaded. Got a hand to fold it, then I be kicking it like going. Buzzing and blowing, I'm busy glowing on top of the ocean flowing. We on your AK, 24-7. That's the only way to roll with me. Then wait a minute. And I'll see it, I'll see it, and I'll see it again. But you don't see Set this race starting from every single state to the rest of the world. There's no mistakes. Look, I'm wide open, so just pass me the rock so I can catch this break. The meditating damage rate on getting this cake. Hey, 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 I'm back in the A. Deep to the IA game through those who get in the way. Every track I lace, every move I make. Yoga fire, yoga fire. Let me find out by the hair trying to tell me that the color of the skin's gonna get up in the way. I don't care about what you say, just know I'm here and I'm here to stay. Hey, hey. on your A, you came 27. That's the only way to roll with me. Then wait a minute, and I'll see it. I'll see it. And I'll see it. I'm a go hard. Meet me at the bar, no pro. Cause I'll be on my A, 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 A again. Be on my A, 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 A again. Got the bread up in my pocket. Rising like rockets. I know you can't stop it, so stop it. I'm on my A, A, A again. Be on my A, 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 A again. Be on your A, K, 27. That's the only way to Your whole life you've been told not to touch. No petting the exotic chinchilla. Hands off that electric fence, Mr. Curious. Don't touch that prehistoric museum exhibit. But there's a problem. Touching is fun. And at Sheets, we never want to keep you from good fun and great food. That's why Sheets has touch screen ordering. With a few swipes, a custom made to order meal from a huge selection of food categories will be yours. So touch your heart out, bro. Then eat up. Because when we say feel the love, we mean actually feel it. Touch the screen. Get the awesome food. Yeah. Unless we want like a K-pop overture, we'll just to see how. I feel like that'd be really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all right, here we are in game one, the finals between. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry. I need to change the thing. This is the finals, but I gotta change the thing. Hang on. Mighty Ducks. Finals. Mighty. Uh, it's our money <coughs> shot, right? Oh, yeah, no money. Yeah. The mic. Yeah. Oh. There's a Y. Oh, it's busy. Yeah. Okay. No, no. No money, no honey. <laughs> yeah. No money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Honey's flash of fades. 
Flash of fates. Flash of fates. Flash of fates. There we go. Too many no honey. Still money knows. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so Mighty Ducks verse. It's getting late, guys. <laughs> no money is no honey. Yeah, it's getting late. Everybody's getting tired, but alright. We got Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix and Zyra coming in for uh, no money. No honey. Whereas uh, we have Lulu, Jarvan, and Shivana. Yeah, they. Yeah, uh, I think I. I feel like what they're gonna go for is pretty much the same comp they've been running the whole time. I mean, the top laners stayed relatively the same, but like, Jarvan is always getting picked. Yeah, they definitely need to take the Lucian away. Oh, but Graves? Yeah, Graves can work too. You just try and burst them down. But he will most likely pick Lucian. Alistair would be interesting. Blanc. Fresh. Okay, yeah. Interesting. So wait, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be Lulu, Lulu mid, Jack's top, Jarvan in the jungle. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm getting tired. Um. Yeah, right now we got. Looks like. Huh. Maybe Kha'Zix in the mid lane, Rumble up top. Really like the uh, I, I like the rumble pick, just for the fact of how powerful the equalizer is, especially when you can manage to get it off, cut people off in like Baron or Dragon Pit. It's just a really really powerful ultimate. Actually, it's a pretty good combination with a uh, with Zyra, just because if like you can get your if Zyra can get the Strangle Thorns off. Along with Rumble's ult, they're just going to be stuck in, stuck in Equalizer for even longer. It is kind of a, kind of an odd. Whoa, that's a lane Nocturne. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> lane Nocturne. All right. I wonder if it's going to be mid or top though. Lane Nocturne, it, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it could be strong, but the only problem with it is you can't really control your lane. You're always going to push, like, you can't avoid it just because of the nature of your passive and, uh, your Q. You can't really harass or CS without pushing your lane. So, he's definitely going to probably end up being overextended for most of the laning phase. But, um, yeah, if he can, I don't know, Nocturne with a lot of farm can be pretty scary. Just the ghost man with swords on his hands flying at you. It's terrifying. Oh. Well, yeah, that's probably, looking forward to see that. But yeah, um, we'll be back in about a minute and a half with the uh, game one, this best of three finals of the North Carolina, the NC State <laughs> University, Pi Alpha, Pi Alpha Pi, third annual League of Legends tournament finals.
All right, we're into the game. Standard items coming out from pretty much everybody. Check the volume real quick. Just everything on max. Why not? <sighs> Looks like we got a uh, no money, no honeys heading out towards. Well, it looks like everybody's just on a collision course for each other. Mighty Duck's hiding in uh, the bush above red. Waiting for, um. Just waiting for honeys to come in. <laughs> waiting for honeys, man. They're waiting for honeys. Trying to get them honeys just chilling in that bush. Now it looks like they're just gonna. You know, they just want to protect that blue buff. They want Kazakhs to get that blue so he can get a nice early start on his farm, and then just. Yeah, they 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 want him to be able to get maybe one or two ganks on early up, and then just farm to six till he can get that empowered ultimate or that evolved ultimate, which gives him fifty percent damage reduction and. Ultimately, six seconds of stealth. Which is a, it's an extremely powerful ganking tool once he has that. As well as dueling. But yeah, um, uh, speaking of which, well, it's not really related, but <laughs> Nocturne is actually in the mid lane. So, a Nocturne in the mid lane will actually not have to worry about pushing his lane too much just because of the shorter distance between the towers. And yeah, it looks like he's just gonna. Try and shove this Lulu into the tower and not really worry about the poke too much just because of how much he heals with his passive. And being able to block, uh, wow, taking that tower shot, that that hurts a little bit. But yeah, he's going to be able to block uh, the Glitter Lances with his spell shield, which will help out a lot. Yeah. So a little bit of CSN, maybe a tad bit of trading in bot lane. Gray shooting the gun. Jackson Rumble in the top lane. Yeah, just exchanging, exchanging hand sticks. Jax get the leap strike onto him. A couple auto attacks, but just gonna back off. Rumble walks back in, taking a bit more damage than he like. Really needs to hit level two before he considers fighting Jax again. Alright, hits the strangle thorns or not the strangle thorns, the grasping root. Uh locks up Caitlyn for a second there, but didn't really get much from it. Thresh throws out the hook, but doesn't quite hit. Death sentence. Oh wow. We'll get back a second. Watch that again. Yep. Just a uh, straight up brawl. Both of them going down there to ignite. Yeah. Jarvid was coming up for the uh, gank from the lane, but the fight, <laughs> they just wanted to fight it before they got there, I guess. Kazakhs come get a little extra farm. Should be nice for him. Yeah, but Graves just gonna. He's just once. Yeah, they both of these lanes are, are lanes that push very hard. Graves pushes pretty hard with his uh, Q at. Yeah, Piltover Peacemaker pushes hard as well. Sorry, gets a grasp or gets the sh yeah grasping roots there. Just a bit of harass. Graves getting some damage onto Caitlyn, but not really. Yeah, I'm not really wanting to go all in. This mid lane, things are they're pretty pretty even. Knocked him with a slight lead, but it's not too huge. Up in the top lane, Rumble's just put, trying to push his lane in. Be just annoying as possible, shooting those flames on the guy with the lamp post. They're actually getting him pretty low. Yeah, he's taking a lot of harass from Rumble, but it looks like he is causing. Jarvan to come and try and give him some attention, but Rumble does have Trinket Ward, so he might be able to get away. 
Yeah, Jax misses the counter strike. Jarvan flashes in but misses the flagging drag. And wow, I'm not sure why he's running that way, but oh wow. Yeah, and Roll's gonna die. But we go bot. Down goes Thresh. Down goes Caitlyn. Very, very well coordinated four man gank bot lane. So that does sort of make up for Rumble dying there. And they probably won't be able to get this tower just due to the fact it's got that uh it's got that early game uh the early game uh uh armor and magic buff or damage tower buff or whatever. It's not nearly as a uh, squish it's a lot more it's a lot more tankier than the uh, bot lane tower, which is just gonna go down. Rumble will actually be able to hold on that tower for a little while longer. Fortunately. Now back in the mid lane. Uh, Lulu is level 6. Nocturne is getting closer. He's not quite there yet. Once he is 6, it's gonna be sort of similar to a TF. In that he will just try to push out his lane. And then either walk sort of, walk sort of like... Uh, into these bushes on either side of his lane and just use his ult to gank. It's basically like a melee, melee AD TF is how he's, I believe he'll play it. But um, yeah. We do have uh, Kha'Zix skulking around.